Hello everyone. Thank you for watching this introduction to my full paper and thanks to the organizers of the Biological Engineering Collaboratory for organizing this series of online seminars. The title of my talk is Analyzing Epistemic Strategies in Reusing Data, a case study of traditional scientific research in bioprocess engineering. Why am I interested in the question of reusing data? The context of my paper is expectations of artificial intelligence. Much talk of the application of artificial intelligence in scientific research implicitly embraces the suggestions that patterns in data is all you need, thereby suggesting that phenomena are or will become epistemologically redundant. The suggestion is that by means of artificial intelligence and advanced statistical procedures performed through machine learning technologies, patterns can be automatically found in data, and this would imply that the time-consuming and rather subjective search for phenomena by scientists can be taken over by machines. The distinction between data and phenomena was proposed by Bogen and Woodward in a seminal paper in 1988, Saving the Phenomena. However, Bogen and Woodward claimed that phenomena are somehow inferred from data, but they did not make clear how this actually happens. Some authors, such as Bruce Gleamer in 2002, therefore argued that on Bogen and Woodward's account, phenomena are mere patterns in data that can be detected by statistical procedures with, and this led him to the conclusion that phenomena do not add much to data. So, if Glimmer is right, phenomena are inferred from data by means of statistical procedures. And according to this view, phenomena are nothing more than statistically relevant regularities in data and phenomena are redundant from an epistemological point of view. Scientific researchers, however, feel that something is going wrong here. It is not easy, uh, however, to articulate why this is so. In my opinion, it is of the utmost importance to clarify this because the current suggestion that data and statistics are actually all you need in scientific research poses great risks to the epistemologically proper roles of science in society, or to put it even more urgently, this false idea poses, poses risks to the epistemologically responsible uses of science in a society where AI is playing an increasingly important role. Against this background, I aim to address the question how we can make plausible that phenomena play crucial roles, crucial epistemological roles in science. I aim to make this plausible by analyzing the role of phenomena in scientific practice. In scientific practice, it is very common to talk about phenomena. In fact, a great deal of scientific work focuses on distinguishing and establishing phenomena. Therein, it is also very common to talk about non-observable phenomena. And in scientific practice, phenomena play a crucial role to explain other phenomena. For example, many explanations for, say, unexpected observable phenomena are in terms of hypothesized unobservable phenomena. Moreover, regarding these kinds of explanations, knowledge and understanding of phenomena is used in the construction of mechanisms which, conversely, implies that mechanisms consist of interacting phenomena. In my extended presentation, I will analyze a case of traditional scientific research in bioprocess technology, more specifically in the field of biohydrometallurgy. Just to give you a brief impression of this case study, the research concerns a natural phenomenon called bioaging. In the 1950s, it was discovered that so-called chemolithoautotrophic bacteria are responsible for the dissolution of metal sulfides, compounds in ore. Here you see 
the effects of this process, a naturally yellow colored river, which is caused by dissolved iron, produced by the bacteria produced by the bacterial dissolution of pyrite, which you see in the middle. So this big clump of pyrite minerals, pyrite um, crystals. On the right hand photo, you can see a microscopic picture of bacteria. So it's the long, uh, the, the long things sitting on pyrite. And on the bottom picture, you see holes that are eaten by these bacteria. The technological relevance of investigating this phenomenon, so the phenomenon of bioleaching, is the industrial application of the phenomenon bioleaching for the recovery of metals from ore. Here you see traditional industry where the heaps of ore are sprinkle, sprinkled by a solute. This technology has been used for copper mining since ancient times. Rain sprinkles on the heap of ore in which natural bacteria oxidize copper sulfides, producing copper ions dissolved in water, which is recovered by passing this water over iron scrap, converting the copper into copper metal. The objective of the research project in bioprocess technology was to optimize these kinds of bioleaching processes. The industrial problem was that bioleaching is a very slow process and that it takes many, many, many years before a heap is empty. In the engineering sciences like bioprocess technology, the scientific approach to problems such as optimization of processes often occurs, often focuses on aiming to understand the target phenomenon, so in this case the bioleaching, which requires to discover the mechanisms that produces the target phenomenon of bioleaching. Furthermore, specifically in the context of industrial, ap industrial applications, researchers also wish to know which factors or other phenomena occurring in the real-world industrial setting may affect the target phenomenon of bioleaching. Additionally, research also aims to develop a mathematical model to quantify the target phenomenon. In my analysis of this research case, I will focus on the literature study at the beginning of this research project. That literature study aimed at the use or reuse of experimental data that were produced by other researchers in this field. In my analysis, I will then focus on the role of scientific reasoning in terms of partly hypothesized phenomena to interpret or to explain experimental data published by other researchers. The challenge in this research case is that bioleaching is a complex system because many different kinds of phenomena may play a role. More specifically, scientific research in biohydrometallurgy concerns phenomena and theory studied in basic scientific disciplines such as anorganic chemistry, surface chemistry, microbiology, electrochemistry, thermodynamics, enzymology, and hydrodynamics. So scientific research aims to discover the mechanism of bioleaching. Therefore, researchers need to know which phenomena occur and how they interact. The philosophical question therefore is, how do researchers get to know which phenomena occur in an experimental system? And how do researchers get to know which phenomena are relevant to the mechanism of the target phenomenon, so the bioleaching? This is how we get back to the philosophical issue phrased as how can we make plausible that phenomena play crucial epistemological roles in science? Based on the preliminaries posed so far, this issue will be approached by aiming to get clarity on how research by using data that are generated in experiments um, determine or discover non-observable phenomena in a complex experimental system. 
and how they decide which phenomena are relevant in the complex experimental system and how they construct a mechanism that explains the targets um, that explains the targets phenomenon, so the bioleaching. Here it is important to keep in mind that one of the challenges for researchers is that phenomena in an experimental system are usually not confined to a specific discipline. Therefore, the search for phenomena and data generated in a complex experimental system requires knowledge from dimensioned disciplines. To wrap this up, in my full paper, based on the analysis of examples in this case study, I will point out epistemic strategies that allow researchers to determine and discover phenomena in experimental data. Well, thank you for listening. And as the full paper is in progress, I look forward to meeting you in the talk and hope to hear your comments and suggestion. For now, take care and hope to see you later. Bye.